I'm at the Sigma booth. We're about to talk the new 24 to 70 version 2, the 28 to 45 F1.8, which is the world first, and we're going to try to get more answers about RF mount from Sigma. You're watching Synity, supported by B and H and CVP. Hello everyone, Graham Ayler Sheldon here from CineD.com. I guess I should disclose right off the top, I'm also a Sigma ambassador. And on my right here is Kazuto. He's the CEO of Sigma and we're hanging out at the booth at CineGear. Um, Kazuto-san, why don't we start first with the uh, brand new 24 to 70 version two. Can you tell me a little bit about why version two and why that lens? Yes, uh, we already had a 24 to 70 2.8, the version one. But uh, you know, every year we develop the new technologies. So with this kind of latest technology, we can make even better optics. So 24 to 70 2.8 is uh, one of the most popular lens. So we need to continuously improve the update the, the lens. I mean, that makes sense to me. I'm using uh, that specific zoom all the time. Uh, available E mount, L mount currently, right? Right. Correct, E mount and L mount. So for the 24 to 70 version 2, uh, pricing and availability, is it shipping soon? Yes, very soon. Uh, actually, 24 to 70, we already started shipping. Yep. Mm. And the price tag in the US? Uh, 12, uh, 1200. Yep. Great, 1200 US dollars. So the next lens I'm particularly excited about because it's a world first, it's a 28 to 45 full frame coverage f1.8 with autofocus yep. world first when you approach even designing and conceiving of a lens like this does the sort of world record part of it factor into your thinking yep uh, that's a world first f1.8 zoom lens for full frame mirrorless camera yep. and i'm really happy to do that sigma is the first company to achieve it can you talk a little bit about the process of getting that done i mean it couldn't have been easy from an engineering perspective yeah, but uh, back in 2013, uh, we developed the 18 to 35 millimeter f1.8, which is for APS-C or super 35 uh, sensor format. And uh, this lens was really popular, actually has been popular and still popular among the cinematographers. So, right, but the, right now the mainstream of the camera is now full frame. So we decided to upgrade this lens to, for the full frame version. Now the 28, to, stop me if I'm wrong, but the 28 to 45, it feels like it was very much designed with filmmakers in mind, right? I mean, photo folks, there's a lot to like there, but can you talk about the balance between creating a lens that appeals to photographers and filmmakers alike? Well, this lens is, as you said, is mainly uh, made for the uh, video or cinematographers. But uh, uh, I do hope uh, this lens uh, appeal to the cinema, uh, photographers because this lens uh, literally includes three primes in one lens, uh, 28, 35, and 45, f1.8. So each product has some concept, uh, but this lens, yes, mainly developed for the cinematographers, but I do hope that many photographers love this lens. One of the things that I, now I've had this lens for a few weeks to try out, um, it's 2.2 pounds, and also the, the zooming mechanism is internal, so the barrel extending doesn't mess with the balance of my gimbal, so thank you so much for that. Yes, uh, that's a one of the, the, the design target we set in the beginning, so uh, inner zoom and the inner focus, uh, which does not you know, affect the gimbal use, so it's very easy to use uh, for the gimbal, with gimbal. And it has that uh, declickable iris button, so allowing for exposure ramps mid-shot. Is that a um, design idea that you're going to continue forward and down the line in future releases? Uh, that's our plan. Uh, we would like to implement this kind of feature as much as possible in the future products. Now, I want to shift gears really quick here to RF mount. So, Tons of RF users out there, and it was just announced shipping soon a whole line of Sigma lenses for crop sensor cameras. Correct, yes. Uh, our uh, plan is to release all the existing uh, APS-C lenses, uh, Sigma APS-C lenses, for our mount within this year, by the end of this year. Now, we're constantly being asked, I'm being asked on the CineD side, I see it all the time on Sigma social channels, is there any kind of roadmap for RF from the Sigma perspective? Well, um, right now we don't have a plan to launch the, the pre-frame lens for RF mount. 
but uh, we are fully aware of the customer's uh, voice, a customer's demand for that lens. Let me say we will do our best to achieve it. So I hope you hear that at home. Sigma hears you, they hear the calls for RF mounts. Uh, hopefully more updates soon. Kazuda-san, thank you so much for walking me through the two brand new zooms from Sigma as well as future plans for RF mount. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Okay, stay tuned for more continuing coverage from CineGear 2024. Stay tuned to our YouTube channels. Go to CineD.com. Lots of new updates coming all the time. Thanks for watching, everybody.